Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we have reached the 18th day in the blessed month of Ramadan. And, you know, it's, um, it's very emotional just hearing the verses being recited and gradually the surahs. And now we have entered the 11th surah, Surah Al Hud. And it's just reminding you that gradually all that you enjoy of the recitation of the Quran and how you connect with it. Gradually the time is coming when it will end in this form. May Allah accept all that we have done and give us the strength to continue even after Ramadan. The surah that was recited, or the surah we finished, Surah Al-Yunus, and then the new surah, Surah Al-Hud, I will take today's five minutes from the third rak'ah, and this is a rak'ah or from the ayah recited in the third rak'ah, which was referring to sihr. So today's five minutes will be on the trial of Sihr. Right? The trial of Sihr. Now Sihr, as we know, uh, this is magic, black magic, voodoo, juju, uh, sihiri, as we say in Hausa. Or something, you know, that is done to harm a person. A lot of us here might have known someone who has been afflicted by such, ever. Or might have been afflicted by such. Or might have just heard about it. And it is something that occurred even during the lifetime of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Where sihr was done to him by a man known by the name Labib bin Asim. And Labib bin Asim had done sihr to the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa that was so potent and strong that when he dropped it in the well where it was placed in Medina, the entire well turned blood red. And we remember from the narrations that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was talking about what he, would, he was facing and he would feel like he had done something but he hadn't done it. Until finally the ayat of Mu'awwidatayn were revealed, Falaq and Nas, which would serve as a protection for him and also a protection for the entire Muslim Ummah. Sihir exists. It is done by people who do not have good intentions and who do not know Allah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَاتَّبَعُوا مَا تَتْلُوا الشَّيَاطِينُ عَلَى مُلْكِ سُلَيْمَانِ وَمَا كَفَرَ سُلَيْمَانِ وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاطِينَ كَفَرُوا يُعَلِّمُونَ النَّاسَ السِّحْرِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about the time of Nabi Sulaiman and those who were practicing the act of sihr. And Allah says that it wasn't Sulaiman who disbelieved, but it was those who learned and taught sihr. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala equates sihr with disbelief, with kufr. That's why amongst the seven heinous things that one can commit and leads them out of Islam and destruction completely, and where they do not repent to Allah, one of them is sihr. The Rasul ﷺ had mentioned seven. The first was shirk, the second was sihr. Because whoever commits, performs sihr, has gone out of the fold of Islam. And today, sihr comes in very different ways that they try to beautify it and make it seem like it is okay from things as simple as putting on a ring that can bring luck to you and protect you to things as major as going before a boka or a sahir and telling them that I want such and such done to so and so. Unfortunately, some of these people that do these things are being referred to as malams or alims. They are not. This is a sahir. Even if he uses verses of the Quran, they have twisted it to aim or to gain something of this world. But they have nothing of the hereafter. So the third ayah, and this is the ayah that I want us all to hold on to, that no matter what, whatever trial you face, and when it comes to sihr, it will all come to an end. Why? Because it is false. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, وَقَالَ مُوسَى مَا جِئْتُمْ بِهِ السِّحْرِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَيُبُطِلْ and Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, and you know when you go through this surah, you will see the narrations of the Anbiya. Allah talked about Nabi Nuh in the recitation on, in, in the Salah, in the various rak'ats. But when he got to this particular incident of what was happening between Fir'aun and Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, and how Fir'aun gathered all of his own magicians and asked them to throw their staff, and Musa alayhi salatu wasalam was able to decipher that this was sihr. And he said to them, Ma ji'tum bihi sihr. What have you come with this magic? In Allah sayubutil, verily Allah will destroy it. So amongst the ayats of Rukia, this particular ayah is one of them. There are numerous ayats of the Quran, but this ayah is one of them. In Allah sayubutil, in Allah la yuslihu amal al-mufsidin. 
Allah will not allow those who are corrupt to be successful. Allah will destroy the work of those who have performed evil, especially when it comes to sihr. So the idea that a person feels that sihr is the only way to progress in life, wallahi, you have disbelieved in Allah. And remember that Allah has promised, وَكَانَ حَقًّا عَلَيْنَا نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Verily, my promise is to the believers, I will grant them victory. May Allah grant us victory above all our trials.